Hey girls and welcome back to the Lean Girl YouTube channel. I know why you're here. You're here for the carbs. And I'm here to tell you that these carbs actually have protein and they're actually low cal too. I know you're here for the pasta, so welcome. Say hello to a fellow pasta lover, especially when it comes to a what? A creamy carbonara. Girls, I actually didn't know that this was possible. And I'm so glad that you all requested this dish, a lean girl version of it, of course. Girls, this is the most insane, delicious, decadent tasting pasta you are ever gonna eat for just over 400 calories. My, even my mind is blown. Girls, we're having pasta, we're having bacon, it's high protein, and it's a giant bowl. Let me tell you, like this is gonna be super filling. You guys know that it's my wedding coming up in a couple weeks, right? I can have this. I can have this pasta in prep for looking at my wedding. How's about that? Guys, this, this feels like winning. It feels like a lot of winning. Guys, I feel like I keep on looking at my awkward there in the background. And I need to tell you that those are new little flowers. They're new buds. And this is a moment because besides for this amazing pasta, I'm really excited about, like I kill them all. I actually don't know, maybe they're not dead. The flowers just fall off and then I throw them away. Cause no, no, I was just persevering and I got new flowers. Are you impressed? Are you impressed? I'm impressed. Okay, let's get to the most exciting part, which is this wonderful, I mean, are you, are you even? It's huge, it's creamy, it's, it's bacon. Do we need to, say anything more. Guys, I have to tell you a secret. Galan is very upset with me for making this pasta. Because as you know, an ingredient that you have to have in a cabanara is bacon. Now, I get it. Galan's Jewish, so I respect him, what he eats and doesn't eat. But at the same time, I know you girls love some bacon, and so do I. So he was like, babe, you need to use Macon. I'm like, no, there is no carbonara without actual bacon. Of course, you don't have to use bacon if you don't eat bacon. You can also leave it out if you are a bit of a veggie, or you can use the turkey bacon if you really don't like pork or bacon. So he's, I literally have been cooking this and he keeps on coming into the kitchen to be like, oh my God, you actually are making bacon. Like, how are you not gonna share this incredible pasta with me? Because he basically eats all the food that I make. And you girls know that I often do like one portion in my recipes because that's always the easiest way. And then you can just double it depending on how many people are having it. But he normally like tries to steal all my food and I'm like, hold on. Like I just made that so I can eat it. And then he like eats all of it. So guess what? This pasta is mine and he can't eat it unless he's like so desperate because the smell in this place from the flavors in here is insane. Like he might, this might be the first time he eats bacon because he cannot resist the lean gold carbonara. You know what I'm saying? Girls, I'm also so shocked. This is the first time I made carbonara, like not even an unhealthy version. But let me tell you, the original can have up to like eight, nine, a thousand calories, 800, 900, a thousand calories for a bowl of your regular carbonara. This is just over 400, so it's basically half. And let me tell you, this took me 15 minutes to make. Like the longest part was basically cooking the pasta. And in the meantime, you make your little sauce. So let's head into the recipe. And then we are gonna come back here for a taste test. Because I mean, you know it's gonna be good, but I'll pretend like we need to taste it to check. So I'll see you back here. Let's get making the recipe. Okay, so start off with some boiling water on the stove in a medium-sized saucepan. We are gonna be using some salt here, which you should always use in pasta when you're cooking it. And then we are going in with 70 grams of raw pasta that is weighed raw. You can double it if you're weighing your pasta cooked. Now let's get to the fun part. We are using some bacon here. This is the leanest cut of bacon that you can get. This is the Escort brand and you must look for round cut Bacon, it is actually super lean, minimal fat, which means the calories are incredibly low. For 100 grams of this, it's around 120 calories. 
So we are using 50 grams here for this recipe. Um, and then you just want to cut them up into strips or cubes, um, whichever you prefer. Then I'm grabbing a spring onion and I am just chopping off the ends. I like spring onion in this dish. It adds a little bit of green and that little delicious onion fresh flavor. Now for our sauce, we are gonna be using two egg whites. You could also use liquid egg whites. That's around 20 mils per egg white. Otherwise you can separate them here and be a bad girl and throw away the precious yolks. Um, then we're going in with some fat-free cottage cheese. I've got 50 grams here. You want to use the smooth one for this recipe so we don't have any lumpy chunkies. I've also got some Parmesan cheese, which is actually surprisingly high in protein, and I'm using 20 grams here. Then give it a good old whisk and it will make a nice creamy sauce. Um, it doesn't take much. And then you're just going to set that aside for when our pasta and bacon is ready. I've then got a hot pan here on the stove, which you are gonna spray with nonstick spray. That is a must. And then going in with our bacon once it's nice and hot. So we make sure to get it delicious and crispy. Well, I love my bacon crispy. Um, and then once that's cooked for a little bit, um, you can add in, this is a garlic and herb mix, or you can go just with garlic if you prefer that. And then just let your bacon brown and crisp a bit. Then I'm going to add my spring onions. They don't need to cook for too long, otherwise they just go a little bit sad. So um, just right at the end, once your bacon is almost done, and be sure to keep checking on your pasta. So what you want to do is once your pasta is nice and tender, you want to leave just a little bit of water drained, um, drain your pasta, and then pop it into the saucepan. You'll see here that the stove is actually off when you add the pasta and your sauce, and then you want to give it a mix. And then we are going to turn the stove back on, which just very slowly on a low heat is going to start cooking the eggs in the sauce. I'm also going to be seasoning it at this point. Remember, you can always add more salt and pepper if you like. Um, so don't add too much because the bacon has also got some salt in it. So totally up to your own preference. And then you are just going to give it a good mix for around three to four minutes until your sauce is nice and thick and delicious and cooked. And then we are going to plate everything up in a big, beautiful bowl. And girls, this is a hearty portion that is going to really fill the comfort spot. Um, it just looks so beautiful. Apparently, this is how you're supposed to serve pasta. You're supposed to do a nice twirl in the middle, but it actually didn't work very, very well for me. <laughs> and then I'm going to chop it off with a little bit of spring onion, just for some beautiful green color on there. Um, to make it look super fresh and you can also dust on some extra parmesan cheese which of course we don't count because it's just a garnish and there you have it our delicious lean girl cabanara pasta we're back and we're ready for the taste test okay here's the thing you have to get yourself a piece of bacon and then you have to get yourself a little spring onion. And then you need to do yourself a little twirly whirly. This is the ladylike way to eat pasta, you know, with like that whole spoon vibe. Come here. Okay, let's go. We basically have to have a moment of silence for this recipe in honor, in honor of these flavors. I know you guys love the lean girl mac and cheese. I know you love the tuna pasta, but I present to you your new favorite of all time, the lean girl creamy cabanara. This is going to blow your mind, especially seeing that you can have this and get lean. Like literally that's breaking every rule we've ever thought. We can't have bacon and we can't have carbs. You can have it all. I cannot wait for you to try this recipe. 
I know you're gonna love it. Um, don't forget that all these recipes can be found inside my Lean Girl Kitchen Coach, the ultimate meal planning tool of all time. So if you've got it, it'll already be written up there for you with a calorie and macro breakdown, all of that good stuff. And don't forget to show some love on this video. I know you're gonna show it anyway, but one special subscriber wins free access to the Kitchen Coach for life for just showing some love, you know, for loving your girl, sharing some thoughts with me in the comments. It's that easy. My girls, I hope that you enjoy this one. I hope that this inspires you to break these mental barriers that we have about the foods that we need to be eating to lose weight. Remember, it is all about the calories in versus calories out. And if you can fit it into that lean girl body budget, there is nothing that is off limits. So I'm wishing you a beautiful day filled with lots of delicious food and go and get your ingredients before they get sold out. You know it's gonna happen. Bye to the bacon. Bye. No more spaghetti. Go get it. Love you all. Babe, are you ready to taste these? Not these. Why? I'm not eating this bacon. Sorry. <laughs> it looks good. But look how good it is. It does look good, but I will eat the panichao. What if I give you a tasty without some bacon? <laughs> bacon flavor. <laughs> Bacon flavor, my lovey. <laughs> Let's get you. No, meat. there's definitely gonna be bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Check. No bacon. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ooh. Feels like it's missing something. What? Bacon. <laughs> bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious, but I'm sure it'll be even better with the bacon. Are you sure? You don't want to I mean, it's hypothetical. Guys, this could bacon. change. Get on to the dark side. Make one with bacon next time and I'll, okay. I'll But it's delicious. Eh? Mm. What do you give it? No. I give it a three. Oh. Uh, <laughs> no, I give it a... Nine, it was a ten with bacon. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, like a 9.99, you know, the bacon clearly oh is. My.